Anyway, guys, what's up? I'm Austin with Insane Labs, joined today by Nick, also Insane Labs. So, as a continuation to our Insane Games playlist on YouTube, today we're going to be doing a video over what we would call our top five favorite competitive shooters. Yeah, so, keep in mind, guys, this is our personal preference. This isn't based on anything else. This is exactly. our thoughts. So this is purely from the Minds of Insane Labs. Um, this doesn't speak, you know, for the community as a whole. So, you know, over the years, we've had a bunch of great games come out, but recently we've had one come out um, that's kind of stormed the first-person shooter, um, you know, team-based shooter, like playing field, and that is Overwatch, exactly. for sure. And that's going to come in at number five for us. Uh, it's Blizzard's newest game, their shooter, that kind of uh, brings together shooter and MOBA in a weird way. Yeah. Um, I I want to say that this game is really reminiscent of, uh, what am I, it, everyone said it, it's like, it's really cartoony. Yeah, it's, it, I, I feel graphics like graphics-wise, it does uh, resemble Borderlands. That's exactly a lot. what I was thinking of. Uh, Borderlands. I love that kind of art style. The game, yep. uh, the gameplay itself isn't for me. Uh, I I do enjoy playing the game though. It's a very yep. fun game to watch and look at. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely. I mean, of course, any competitive shooter is going to be team based, but I feel right. like having more or less the uh, the champion style play type is more reminiscent of League of Legends yeah. and like. Yeah. Uh, what what are some other games uh, like well League, League and Dota, Dota and Heroes of the Storm are the three big Smite, uh, Smite. There they're the four big uh, MOBAs. So recently, again, uh, one particular game has had a resurgence within the competitive scene, and actually, I do believe that they just wrapped up their uh, first tournament of this year, which was in Columbus, which would be Gears of War. Yes. Yeah, and they just. When was was it at E three? I believe that they uh, announced yes, uh, or at comic. It was earlier this year they announced uh, their new game, mm -hmm. um, which Gears of War was a game I played a lot back uh, when the first and second uh, first came out. Uh, I played through. It was one of the first. Um, I don't know, gory games. I guess you would call it. The campaign of it is very gory. It was, it was one of the first yeah. campaigns that I played through that yeah. I just, I loved it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had a competitive scene for this in MLG for a while, and then after the decline of first-person shooters in MLG, it kind of just fell Yeah, it, they, they kind of did. It was a, it was a very short-lived uh, stint in MLG. Yeah. Uh, but that, that had more to do, I think, with uh, the fact of the Gears of War multiplayer isn't necessarily geared towards as a competitive uh, style as what MLG was yeah, going for. Exactly. Um, it can be, it can obviously be competitive and it is super fun. Uh, I used to play, like I said, I used to play it all the time. Yeah, so. I, I played it for a little while, but all right guys, Gears of War number four. So for number three, um, we're gonna have one of the fan favorites. Uh, it's one of my favorites right now. Uh, Call of Duty, more specifically for me, it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but we're just generalizing this with Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, this has seen a lot of competitive play throughout the years. In fact, I would say it's one of the most heavily played competitive games. And to this day, it is one of the only shooters left in the competitive genre. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, all the way back to, you know, you could go all the way back to Call of Duty 2, probably, uh, playing competitive back in the day, all the way up till now. I mean, every year there's been at least some form of competition for it. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's always been a tried and true competitor yeah. when it comes to first person um, shooters. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know, we actually sponsor a Call of Duty team. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the team that plays for Echo Fox, so that's got Proof, Neslo, Cyborg, and Sinful, mm -hmm. all really great guys. In fact, they just played in MLG Orlando and should be going to COD XP, which is in the upcoming weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for that, that's Call of Duty for number three. Let's go on to number two. Now, this is widely claimed. A lot of people are gonna believe this should be number one. Right. Um, but for us, this lands in at number two. Uh, the popularity is immense. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know this one. This is uh, this is probably my favorite to play right now. Uh, the biggest PC game, shooter-wise, uh, that is going on right now. Uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive. Or for those of you um, that are more into the small terms, CS:GO. Yeah. Um, or you can even go back, uh, if you wanted to group this with Counter-Strike 1.6 or Counter-Strike Source, um, 
Counter-Strike in general uh, is coming in at our number two spot. I absolutely love this game. The, the economy system is probably the best system for a competitive uh, game. And, and it's why I like it more than Call of Duty. Um, because Search and Destroy is my favorite game type on Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. And it is based solely off of Counter-Strike Global Offensive yeah. uh, bomb missions. And the economy system just pushes it over the edge. Yeah. And I, you know what, guys? Um, and as a lot of you may have seen, I believe, with like ESL and all those other uh, tournaments, those have actually been getting broadcasted on TV. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. TBS just picked up uh, a series that are, is being called E-League. Mm -hmm. It actually just ended their first season. Uh, I believe Virtus Pro won the first season. So. Yeah, yeah, which is... Uh, which is great, you know. I'm glad to see esports making, uh, you know, its debut onto the actual uh, televised network. Okay, guys, and then s here we are with number one. Okay, so you can call it biased, which this probably is. Now, if we're talking about super competitive shooters, dedicated teams, I mean, all-out passion for a video game, Halo in the Halo series takes the cake. Start with Halo 2. Yeah, so I started playing Halo in Halo 2. Uh, that was what got me into competitive gaming. Same here, man. Uh, period. And um, I, can, I can remember just sitting there with a 13-inch tube TV uh, grinding for six hours a night uh, playing, you know, 13. coming home from school, playing for six hours a day, and then uh, playing Team Hardcore at the time. And then, you know, getting into Halo 3, we actually teamed together. We traveled a little bit and played. Yeah. We actually played at some MLG competitions. I think the last one we played at was MLG Dallas, which was in... It was when Halo 4 came out. It was, so yeah. It, it was I actually... Know, it, was, it was directly before the release of yeah. Halo 4. Um, the they kind of... before. Yeah, they did a little bit of a release thing with MLG, and we went and competed in that tournament. Um, and sadly, I do believe that that seemed to be... Uh, what sealed Halo as yeah. a competitive game for MLG. Now, Halo right. 5 right. has actually made a comeback. Right. Halo 5 has made a comeback because uh, 343 Industries has decided to do it themselves, mm -hmm. basically, with the HCS, and they're doing a, a fantastic job with it. It's still not back to where it was, yes. um, and in my opinion, it could be. It's a fantastic game. Yeah. Um, just... It's it's hard for console games to make it into the scene yeah. right now when there's so many good PC yeah. games. And I think a lot of the problems stem from the fact that there's a lot of EXO movements coming in in these new games. Example, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, um, for example, Titanfall even had. Yeah. But then again, yeah. Titanfall and Call of Duty, they're more or less made by the yeah. same people. Yeah. Um, but that even appeared in Halo... Was it in Halo 4 or was it in, just Halo 5 only? In Halo 4, if, if you... It wasn't Halo. Halo Reach had part of it with their um, like jetpack and yeah. evade and all that kind of stuff. And then Halo 4 had it um, a lot more clearly. And then Halo 5 has kind of refined it. Yeah. But a lot of people and those that are very, very much Halo fanboys, it was very ill-received into the States still not like what it used to be. Like you said, Halo 2 and Halo 3 were kind of the apex of the first-person shooter competitive scene that had diehard followings, that had, I mean, actual competition where... I am going to kill who's <laughs> ever opening that window in the back of our office. If you guys can hear it, we have an alarm system which keeps speaking. But either way, um, I just feel like... Ever since that died out of the scene, it wasn't necessarily that it died out even. I just feel like there were a lot of other games which kind of stole its glory. For example, right. it's not a first-person shooter, but League of Legends by yeah. Riot Games. That was released, I do believe, was it 2009 or 11? Uh, it was... I, I, I'm not 100% sure on the... I'm, it's season 6 right now, yeah. so... You're, Season or 2009 seems right. Yeah, uh, I might be off a little bit, but either way, once that came out, it was free to play, and it drew yeah. such a massive crowd to this day. It is one of the, it, I think, actually, it is the it, most played online game due to yeah, the fact I'll, that it's I, free. I wouldn't doubt that it is. It, I would say it's probably either between that and uh, and Dota, or yeah. Dota Two, yeah. which get, is the same thing. But getting back to the fact that uh, that's basically our list, uh, our list of top five first-person shooters, and we're talking competitively, by the way. Right, right. Um, so just to recap, number five was Overwatch, number four was Gears of War, three was Call of Duty, two was CSGO, and number one was the Halo series. 
We would love to know what you guys think, so go ahead and comment down below. Share this video, and uh, let's get some conversation going on what you guys think are the top five shooters of all time. Yep. And before we go, we do know that Gears of War is not first person. It is third person, but it still comes in on our list. Exactly. I do, I, actually, on Gears, is there not a toggle mode? There wasn't on the first ones. There may be on the newest one. I haven't, I haven't played three or We're still ones. considering it's that. It's still there. Yeah, I mean, we're, still there. by our standards, that's still a shooter. But anyway, guys, until next time, we'll catch you later.